guys, it's Hazeltail, and today I finally have another video in my decluttering series. In case you don't know what that is, basically I'm going through my entire makeup collection and getting rid of any products that I don't use or don't see myself using in the future. And I'm going to donate what I can, and what I can't I'm going to either throw away or give to my friends. Today I'm doing my small eyeshadow palettes. In my collection I just have them divided up based on size. And what you see right now is about half of my small palettes, and I have the other half sitting in a drawer next to me. I'll start over here. This is a palette from Hard Candy. It is the Birthday Suit Top 10 Trendsetters eyeshadow palette. I believe I used this in a video somewhat recently. It's alright, it's not the best palette in the world, but I do like the colors, so I'm going to hang on to this. Then this palette is also new, it's from Rimmel, and it's the Magnifies Shadow palette. And this one is in London Nudes Calling. To me it reminds me of the Urban Decay Naked 3. And I also used this one in a video very recently. Very, fairly, I said both. And I'll put a link to it somewhere on the screen, but I'm going to hang on to this one. Next we have this Profusion palette, full of like sparkly colors. I already know I'm not going to use this, so I'm going to get rid of this one. Then I have both of the Urban Decay Naked Basics palettes. The first one I've had forever, like almost since it came out. And I love it for basically everything. It goes well as a companion to other palettes and you can make looks by itself with it. So I'm going to hang on to this. And I'm also going to hang on to the second one. I only recently got this one, and it's more like cool toned colors, but I'm going to hang on to this one. I'm not sure about this Beauty Gems palette, I think I'm going to swatch it real quick. It doesn't have a specific name or anything. The colors feel nice. Though that dark one does like not show up at all. Look. Yeah, like half the colors I just swatched don't show up, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Then I'm gonna skip past these old palettes just for now and go on to these Revlon Color Stay palettes. I don't think they make these anymore. I've had these for a very, very long time. I'm going to hang on to the one with pink right here and get rid of the one with blue. The pink one is called Sterling Rose and the blue one is called Sultry Smoke. I'm going to hang on to both of these neutral Ulta palettes. I feel like I remember them being pretty good quality. For the rest of the Ulta palettes though, I don't remember what they were like so I'm going to have to swatch them and see. I like the idea of this one, the purples, those colors seem nice. Oh, and then they like, don't show up. That's disappointing. I'm gonna get rid of this. Then I guess I'll swatch this one. I like most of the colors, though the gold is kind of strange. Hopefully this one has better quality and pigmentation than the last one. And it doesn't. So I guess I'm going to get rid of this one too. Then I'll just quickly swatch this last Ulta one. Kind of doubting if the colors will be good at this point, but it's worth a shot. Okay, those ones are actually really nice, so I'm going to hang on to this one. Those colors are Silk, Honey Bee, Sapphire, and Green Machine. And I know what I'm going to be doing with my Wet n Wild palettes. I'm keeping all of them. If I remember correctly, these two were limited edition from some summer collection, and then these three are always available. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but that's what I remember. 
and I'm going to be keeping all of these because they all have wonderful pigmentation. Some of the best eyeshadows from the drugstore in my opinion. Then I just noticed I have another Ulta palette that is different from the rest. This one is called Glamour Girls. Nice silvery taupe colors. That one looks like it's going to be nice. Yeah, I like that. I'm going to keep this one. This one, I believe, is from Lorac. Yes, it's the Downtown Drama Palette. This is probably from a few years ago. I think I got it at Nordstrom Rack. It's pretty. I don't remember how it swatches, though, so let me just see. They feel really nice. Oh yeah, I'm keeping this. That's gorgeous. I got this Jessie's Girl palette somewhat recently. It's from the Backstage collection. It's called Natural Nudes. It's got five mattes and five shimmers, and I think I'm gonna hang on to this. I've only used it a couple times, but from what I remember, I liked it. These aren't the best quality eyeshadows at the drugstore, they're kind of like around Hard Candy, at least the other palette I have from Hard Candy, but it's still nice. Then I have this little quad from Essence. It's called Denim 4.0. If I remember, this is good quality, but I haven't used it in a while, so I'll swatch it to figure that out. I'll put this in a maybe pile for now and come back to it. Then I have just this smoky eyeshadow quad from LA Colors. Unless the quality really like blows me away, I'm probably gonna get rid of it. That is really nice quality. I guess I'll put it in the maybe pile for now. Then I have this old CoverGirl quad. I feel like they've changed up the packaging since I bought this. It's in Shirley Nudes. I like the colors, but I don't remember how they swatch. Okay, pretty nice, so I'm gonna hang on to this one. This one I'm not even going to bother swatching. It's from LA Colors, and I'm sure the quality is fine, but I have a bunch of other colors that are pretty similar to this, and I don't see myself using it. Then I have this pretty rainbow LA Colors palette. It's the Glittering Starlit eyeshadow palette. I don't remember how these colors are. They feel soft. and yet they barely show up, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. And I have this little Bonnie Bell eyeshadow quad. I'm not even sure if they exist anymore. The shade is Urban Blues. I feel like this doesn't have very good quality, if I remember. Maybe it does. Oh wow, it does. I should use that more, so I'm gonna keep this. Then I have a little Maybelline quad. I'm not sure if these quads still exist. I know they did for a while, but they had changed the packaging. This one is in Natural Smokes, and I used to use this all the time. You can see I hit pan on a couple of the colors. Let's see if I still like it. Looks nice. Yes, I'm going to keep that. I believe this is an Avon quad, and if I remember correctly, it is not good quality at all. It's one of their True Color eyeshadow quads in washed khakis. And I like the colors, but I don't think I like the pigmentation.
Yeah, I'll put this in the maybe for now. I don't really know how I feel about it. Now, I know I'm getting rid of this palette. It's like shimmery rainbow colors, but I've had it way, way too long. This is one of my first eyeshadow palettes. It's from Claire's. So, goodbye. And then I am going to hang on to this little Too Faced one. It's the Look of Love Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. It's got two kind of bronzy colors and then a peachy pink blush. And I really like that. Everything's really shimmery but nice. And I'm going to keep this. I only recently got this Milani palette. And I really like it. These are the Everyday Eyes in number one Must Have Naturals. I've heard nothing but good things about these palettes, and I've used this one a couple times and I liked it, so I'm definitely hanging on to it. Then I have a bunch of like no-name palettes along with one Almay one, so I'll look at the Almay one first. This one is in Exhilarate. I believe this color right here is a base and the rest are eyeshadows. The eyeshadows seem nice. And they are nice, so I'm gonna hang on to this. I believe all of these came from different sets that came out in the drugstore around like Christmas time. These are all the same, and these four are all the same. So I'll start with these ones. I'm probably gonna hang on to this red one because the colors are kind of unusual. If I could even pick it up, that would be nice. No, I'm not going to keep that because it doesn't really show up at all. Okay. Now I'll swatch this purpley one. The problem with these is they have really strange packaging. They're like either impossible to open or impossible to keep closed. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of the purple one, too. I have a feeling these two are going to be just as bad a quality as the others, but I'd hate to miss out on something, so I'm just going to quickly try to open this and swatch it. The green one's actually pretty nice, so I'm going to hang on to this one. blue one's actually really nice, so I'm going to hang on to the blue one, too. I'm not going to bother with this one. I have a lot of colors like it, and I feel like it's not really worth keeping it for the awkward packaging. And then same with this one, but I will swatch the others. I think this red one is worth keeping. I don't have a whole lot of red eyeshadows. This one I feel like I have colors similar to it that are better, so I'm going to get rid of this one. I really like that one. The green isn't fantastic, but the other colors are, so I'm going to hang on to this. I don't think this one's worth keeping. The colors aren't that unique. Here are the rest of my small palettes, and again, I will start over in this corner. 
This one is an old Revlon palette, Revlon Customize. I don't remember this being good and the colors are kind of strange, so I'm just going to get rid of this. And I have one of the NYX Love in Florence palettes. This one is XOXO Mona. I don't remember how this is. Think about this one and put it in the maybe pile. Then I have a similar palette. This one's from Maybelline. I believe this is one of the iStudio palettes in Amethyst Ablazed. So really soft. That's a good sign. Okay, yeah, this one showed up a little bit better, so I'm going to keep this one and get rid of the other one. Then I have this little Clinique palette. I don't remember offhand what it is. Yeah, I'm not going to keep this. I'm never going to use this. Then I have three of the Maybelline iStudio quads. I remember these all being really good quality. So I'm actually just going to keep all of these without swatching them. Then I have this basic Color Mates palette. It says it's 06. Now I'm only going to consider this for the eyeshadows because I don't like their little tiny blush and lip products. If I could even get it open that would help. These actually seem really nice. And they are, so I'm gonna keep this one. Get back in here, brush. Then I have the second Color Mates palette and I'm just gonna get rid of it without swatching it. The colors just don't really appeal to me. This one I think is one of those no-name brands that comes out around the holidays. Yeah, this one holds those little quads from earlier. I'll just swatch these and see if they're any good. That first one is, and let's see the second one. Yeah, the neutrals are way better than the colors. I'm gonna keep both of these. Then I have a couple more Beauty Gems palettes. Not sure if these have names. No, they don't. But I will swatch them real quick and decide what to do with them. Oh, they feel hard. That's not good. Yeah, that barely shows up at all, so I'm going to get rid of this one. And I'm going to get rid of this one too, because only one color even showed up. Can you see that? Yeah. Then I have this little NYC quad in Union Square. I don't remember how this one is, so let's find out. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'll hang on to this one. Then I have two of these old NYX trios. They have trios now, but they're in different packaging. Can't remember exactly what they look like. But this top one is in Rock and Roll, and this one is in... Okay, it doesn't have a name, it just has the name of the individual shadows, which is White, Pearl, Silver, and Charcoal. I'm going to keep this one because I know I like this one. And I'm going to swatch this one. Okay, those colors are really nice. I'm going to keep that. Then I have this little kind of neutral, plummy eyeshadow palette from LA Colors. It is called Chic. And I think...
think this has good pigmentation from what I remember. Yeah, I like this, so I'm going to keep this one. Then I have this smoky palette from LA Colors. This one is called Ammunition. I'm probably going to get rid of this. I mean the colors, wow that's soft. They seem nice, but I have colors like this. Oh, but they're so nice though. I am going to keep it. Then the last LA Colors thing that I have is the Little Black Book of Eyeshadow Glam Edition. And I'm just going to get rid of this. I like never use it. The colors are ridiculously tiny. Do you see that? So yeah. Goodbye. Then I'm going to be getting rid of both these palettes. These are super old. They're from Claire's like that one rainbow one earlier in the video. And I hit pan on like three colors in the smoky one, but they're just so old at this point that I don't really want to keep them. And then I'm going to get rid of this No Name eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure how the quality is, but the colors just aren't appealing to me. Then I have a CoverGirl quad in the newer packaging. This one is in the shade Ice Princess. And I don't remember how it is. Hmm. I think I will hang on to this one. Then we have a little palette from Smashbox. It's the Full Exposure palette. I really like this. It's got four mattes and four shimmers. Gorgeous. So I'm going to keep this. Then I have another little Clinique palette. Whoops. And I think I'm going to get rid of this. The colors just don't appeal to me that much and neither does the blush. So. Then I have this little palette from Fab Beauty. I've never seen any other products from this brand before. I ran across it, I think, at Big Lots. But if I remember, these colors are nice. Yeah. Wow. I'm definitely keeping that. That's so pretty. Then I have two little Revlon Color Stay palettes. I'm not sure if these are still out. This one, I believe, is called Inspired. Yes. And I think I'm going to keep that because the colors are pigmented. They're just kind of like pastel, so they don't really show up as much. And then I'll swatch this purple one, which is called Seductive. Okay, the purple doesn't really show up at all, so I'm going to get rid of that one. Then I have an old NYX 5 shadow palette from the Caribbean collection. It's called I Dream of Barbados. Um, I don't really know how I feel about this. Like, the colors seem pigmented. Hmm. I think I'll hang on to this. Then I have one of their Love in Rio trios in Nighttime in Rio. And I'm going to hang on to this one. Those are nice. I think I'm going to get rid of this NYX matte smoky look in One Night in Morocco. Like, it doesn't really stay closed that well. And the colors are just kind of, like, they're pigmented, but I'm not really a huge fan of them. 
And then the lip stuff I never use and it doesn't stay closed. So I'm gonna get rid of this. Okay, we are almost done. I have this old Milani quad and I remember really liking the quality of it. It is in the shade Sedona Sunset and I'm gonna hang on to this. Then I have a similar color schemed palette from e.l.f. This is the Flawless Eyeshadow Palette in beautiful browns. I believe this came in a set, not on its own. And the colors are really nice. I'm gonna hang on to that. And then these two Maybelline The City Mini Palettes are brand new. I just hauled them in a in my last, it was either my last video or my last haul. I can't remember if I put up the video in between then and now. But either way, I'll link to it somewhere on the screen. And I haven't got a chance to use these, but I am super excited about them. Quickly looking at the maybe pile, I think I'm gonna keep the LA Colors and the Essence ones and get rid of the Avon. Okay, here is what I am getting rid of. Here is what I'm keeping, and I will quickly count them out for you guys. Okay, so I'm keeping 49 palettes. And I got rid of 28 palettes, so I think that's around a third of what I started with. Anyway, I am super happy with how this came out. I didn't expect to get rid of this much, even though it may seem like I didn't get rid of enough. I have a hard time getting rid of eyeshadow. Anyway, if you liked this video, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Is that up? Yeah. If you liked it, to let me know that you liked it, and if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. I'll include a link somewhere on the screen and also in the description box to the rest of my decluttering videos in case you want to see that. And I think that's it. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!